Well, welcome back to the BBC Sport website. Once again, ahead of the new 2012 F1 season, we have grabbed hold of a Formula One driver and a load of questions from Twitter. You sent in uh, questions for Lewis Hamilton with the hashtag AskLewis. So are you ready to see what the wide world wants to know from you? Sure. OK, these are quick fire, just a few of them. The first one comes in from Gemma Collins. She says, do you think 2012 will be harder to win this year with six champions on the grid? I think so. Um, can't be too much harder than it has been in the last couple of years, but I'm sure it will be probably the most competitive year, especially as uh, from testing, everyone seemed, all the teams seem to be really close. Yeah. You know, Lotus, Mercedes, Ferrari, um, even, you know, Force India looked quite quick. Uh, Williams looked quite quick, a lot quicker than they were last year. So I think the, the competition is going to be um, incredibly intense. And does it give you more credibility if you become the world champion this year in a year where the competition is so high? Definitely, definitely. Good. It's a good motivation. Yes. OK, uh, Shivs says, what do you do to get into the zone before a race? Um, I think... What's important is to just have some time alone. It's good to be uh, in your room sometimes. For me, it's, I do it in a different ways. Sometimes just listen to some music. Get what yourself, songs? What's your music? Um, one last year that I was listening to quite a lot was um, Night in Paris by Jay-Z and Kanye. It's like a real, it's a great beat and it kind of yeah. gets you in the mood. Um, uh, or you watch, it's just about being relaxed. So you can watch some comedy. It's about kind of taking your mind off of what you're just about to do. Do you visualise anything? Visualise the start or think about the first couple of corners? I don't until I get into the car. When I sit in the car and then I do the, f the out lap to the grid, that's when I start um, calculating all the things such as the start, um, such as uh, the launch procedure, yeah. warming up the tyres, switching on all this, do doing all the switch changes. That's when I start to really... So you kind of build up to the zone. You kind of ramp up slowly. OK, nice. Uh, next question comes in from... Bridget Rivers Moore, what's your favourite corner, best straight, and best chicane? Um, favourite corner, probably Cops, I would say. Nice. One of my That'll go down well with the British fans. Yeah, no, it really is. It's absolutely awesome to drive. Um, best straight. Hang best straight. Best straight. <laughs> the best straight is probably uh, the straight back in China after turn 13, yeah, down the, down the back run. straight, the long run. Um, and the best chicane. Best chicane is probably Suzuka. Yeah, how apt with Prost and Senna's cars yes, sitting, sitting alongside us. OK, uh, Grant Didsbury, have you asked for better visibility in your mirrors this season? I mean, looking at the cars from the late 80s, the mirrors weren't very big on those either. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of work with my team to make sure our mirrors are better this year. Right. They are, they are wicked. Um, no <laughs> flapping and shaking around. No, no. I tell you, we sat, we, we even came back here at the end of last year they put one, they put Jensen's car behind yep. and they put my car and I sat in my car and I positioned, uh, had to position my mirrors in the position that I like them. Good. And then, um, and then they, comp they were like, oh, well, these are going to be um, less efficient aerodynamically. And I said, we'll just try it. And I went and tried it and it was actually neutral. So they worked it out just fine. So we've got these new mirrors, they're in a different position. They look kind of, they're a little bit higher. So they look down mm -hmm. upon the top of the people's cockpits, okay. which is much, much better. So this year we won't hear you utter the words, I didn't see him in my mirrors. Definitely not. Right. That's on record, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Miguel Bossio says, do you believe Mercedes and Lotus will threat or join the usual suspects? Lotus have looked pretty fast. I think they? if you look, uh, yeah, you've got to look at their history. I mean, they always come out with, the, I mean, last year they were, um, they were third on the first, mm. at the first Grand Prix. Um, it look, appeared that they didn't have the same capacity as, as the top teams to develop through the year. I think that's really the biggest question for me, whether they have the same capacity to, to develop and improve their car throughout the year. I'm sure by the first race, at the first race, they'll be one of the quickest cars. Yeah. Um, Mercedes, they kind of look like the dark horse. They look like they've just been doing long runs, getting lots of mileage on their car and not really showing any true pace. So I'll be They need to start winning races <coughs> though, Mercedes, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I'll be interested to see. I mean, the car looks good, whether they're going to be uh, competitor, I really have no idea. Okay, uh, Beth sent us a message on Twitter saying, which race is Lewis most looking forward to in 2012? Which would he most like to win? I probably have to say, uh, well, Monaco is always, Monaco and Silverstone Grand Prix are my two favourite Grand Prix's um, for the obvious reasons. And then, um, but there'll be ones that I haven't won yet, you know, like yeah. I haven't won India. Um, Only one person has to be fair. True, yeah. yeah. but. Um, uh, I love Singapore. I haven't won Singapore for a while, so I'd love to do it there again. Um, 
Japan, Suzuka. I in terms of victories, which one is which one gives you the most satisfaction? Is it Monaco? It's the British Grand Prix. Is it? Yeah, it's just incredible. That race in the wet, eh? Hey? Uh, the, the race memories. in the wet. Oh. Yeah, the memory I have from that Grand Prix 2008. Jesus, seems like, seems like a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> you need a photo on your wall of that moment when you're coming through the spray with all the crowd on their feet and things. Yeah. It's no, it's a special day for the fans as well. Um, Laura says, do you ever get starstruck? Now, I noticed when I turned up this morning, you were a bit lost for words. <laughs> I know I do, I do. There's only a, certain people, a, certain, a few people that do that for me, though. Um, Schumacher, Jensen. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I met Queen Atifa. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say anything. the Queen for a minute. <laughs> no, you know, the Queen, she's like, me and her get on so well. She's like my grandma. You know? Brilliant. She's like the coolest grandma in the world. We, you know, we just hang out and we get to chill and talk. It's, she's really cool. Are you no, talking about the Queen or Queen Latifah? The Queen. Really? Yeah, she's really cool. Oh, I didn't know that. She's spent really, a lot of time really cool. Down at no, the palace. Uh, it's quite yeah, funny. But um, no, Queen Latifah, I met Queen Latifah and I was starstruck by her. Will Smith, I was wow. starstruck by Will Smith. Um, of course, Nelson Mandela. Um, and who else? What There's about when you were a uh, kid? I, tell, I met um, Robert De Niro. Uh, was it Robert De Niro? Yeah. What was Robert that like? That was, inc that was incredible. Some actor. And yeah. what about when you were a kid and you, you met a Formula One driver for the first time? Can you remember your first encounter with a bona fide F1 driver? Yeah, the first, first encounter was... Um, it wasn't David Coulthard, was it? That would be disappointing. It wasn't. It, wasn't, uh, it was um, Mark Blundell. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I remember meeting Mark. I was, Lovely guy. I was like nine years old or something, yeah. eight or nine years old. And it was in my foot one of my he first was there. He was in Formula One, wasn't he? He so. was. So it, and at, at the time when my dad said he's a Formula One driver, it didn't really, um, didn't really twig. You know, I didn't really <coughs> uh, catch on. But it was quite cool. I remember I had a, I had a picture of signed of me uh, with um, I had just won the race, so I had a picture of me in my go kart with my red helmet by the side of the car and a, and a card with a picture of, or, or a signature from Mark. From Mark, he's a, he's a nice guy. Uh, Mark Cox says, "What career path would you be doing if you weren't a Formula One driver?" Um, <coughs> I don't know. I'd probably be trying to be successful in some some way. Either sport. Following, I probably would have tried to do a sport. I was, I've always, as just being quite sp um, sporty, I just would have tried doing another sport. But um, I don't know, I, I fancy myself doing something, I fancy something doing in the, in the Olympics. That would have been pretty cool. Nice. An Olympic gold medal would go down very well. Yeah. Uh, the following are one word answer questions. Lee Davidson, would you like to run your own team one day? No. Regina, apart from Jensen, which driver do you spend most time with? Alonso. <laughs> Okay, nice. What, you just stalk him? Because I don't think he... No, no. I'm joking. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, David, if neutral balance isn't possible, would you rather have understeer or oversteer? Oversteer. And finally, the final question from your fans ahead of this, uh, this new season. Trevor Mills, how annoyed were you when Seb beat your lap time on the top gear track? Well, it wasn't him. He, he didn't beat me first. It was Rubens Barrichello. So it was two you've been beating It was Rubens, yeah. Uh, and the one word to answer I that was, question? I was incredibly frustrated. Wonderful. All right. Well, it's great to chat. And Jensen did the same thing. Um, it's quite nice to end this with a with a message to the people at home who are gearing up for the new season. They've waited a long time over the winter. So, what would you like to say to them? Uh, just to, to say thank you for all the messages, um, the, the special comments and letters that I get um, each and every day. Thank you for those. And um, you know, looking forward to a fantastic season. Looking forward to seeing many of you at Goodwood and at Silverstone this year. And um, just really keep your fingers crossed. For, for me and Jensen, I'm sure we can put on a great performance for you. Okay, keep your eyes on those mirrors. Definitely. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Thanks Thanks very much. Much. Good luck. Thanks. Have a good season. Appreciate it.